morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. We are here in sunny Utah and I am absolutely loving it. We saw this spot driving by and I had to stop and just admire the beauty. But I have been hyped today to head over to Sequest. This has been something that's been on the docket for the last month and a half or two months. So we are heading over there. We're going to have an amazing adventure today. So what do you say we have a great day together, admire some of this beauty, and then head over to Sequest. Finally here at Sequest. Absolutely excited to see what we have today. A ton of amazing adventures. The thing that I really love about Sequest is when they reached out to me to bring me out here, they said, hey, we're kind of like the reptarium of the aquatic world. So it's hands-on. It's being able to do things. I've been to a lot of aquariums, but typically it's just looking at things through the glass. So today we're gonna get hands-on with things. It's gonna be absolutely epic. We've got uh we've got some interaction here with the sloth. Hey little one. There you go, sweetheart. Unbelievable. And of course, I, you know, sloths are just amazing animals. And whoops, there you go, sweetheart. Whoops, you lost it. <laughs> the thing you gotta realize is that when sloths actually get to maturity, oftentimes that cute, cuddly thing that wants to hang out with you, uh, they can be a little bit of biters and nippers. So in this case, you've gotta be really careful to uh, pet her or do anything with her until she has food in her mouth because you might get in some trouble. The other thing you have to worry about is these uh, these big toes. Of course, there's two toes and three toes sloths. And uh, they yes, they sleep like 23 hours a day. They're absolutely adorable. And this is the one mammal, I'll be honest with you, I really do wanna add to the Reptarium. Would that be okay, Lori? No. No, what do you mean? Again, reptarium. No, but Not this is like, you know, it's like Amazonian. It's kind of like rainforest, right? You think it's Yeah, reptile. definitely. See, she <laughs> thinks it's a good idea. <laughs> but they are absolutely incredibly cool. There's something just about sloths that just make you happy when you look at them, right? I mean, what an absolutely gorgeous animal. Lori, get in here and pet it. She's real nice. What's her name? Flash. Flash? Because it's so fast. Oh, yes. It's really fast, you can tell. In actuality, it came down pretty quick. I was oh, surprised. Yeah. It was actually really good. Once food was there, it's like, all right, I'll come down. Look at how good. Uh oh. There you go, Lori. This is her very favorite treat. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Butternut oh, squash. Oh, butternut nice. squash. Good. That means I'm her favorite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a lot different than you would expect. Yeah. I like to compare it to like an old toupee. <laughs> <laughs> a little too bad. <laughs> a really bad one. Oh yeah. Yeah, sloths are absolutely incredible. I love it. What a great experience. And it's really cool. Again, at Sequest you can come here and actually see this type of stuff, which is really cool. The interaction in here, that's what I love. Again, you guys know that I love bringing the exhibit from beyond the exhibit, so to speak. So to, to be able to have all these things is absolutely incredible. This is super cool. These are actually little bamboo shark eggs here. And I've always thought that shark eggs are so weird because they're like little eggs aliens growing inside. You can literally see inside of the eggs. Now they have a bunch of eggs here at Sequest every week, but not all of them hatch. But some bamboo sharks have hatched here, which are pretty cool. Typically take about 90 days or so. So whenever they get eggs, they put them on display here so people can actually see inside them, see those little embryos in them, and hopefully they'll hatch a bunch of babies. I tell you what, shark eggs are weird. Sometimes they're like spirals. I mean, they're just really bizarre. Not at all what you think an egg looks like. Certainly not in the sense of reptiles at least. Another cool thing is is that they have tokens where you can get actually food for all kinds of stuff. So I've got food that we can feed these guys here. I mean, just look at that big arowana, the red tail cats. I mean, there's some amazing stuff. And over here, we got a caiman over here. I mean, it's cool. Let's go ahead and feed a ton of stuff as we go through Sequest. an area that I'm pretty comfortable in. Of course, the reptile part. We have a veiled chameleon setup that is really, really cool. Lots of area for the animal. We got the veil right over here in the corner. But the thing I really love about this place, by the way, this is where the tortoises live. And I love the fact that there's a gate right here. Maura, you've talked about this. Why don't we do this with Matilda? Yeah, like, this is exactly what we need to do for our tortoise pen. Exactly. Yeah. That way we can have a gate and we can actually let the tortoises roam around and stuff like that, but we don't have to lift them out because it's kind of stressful for them to be lifted out. So this is going to be really cool here. But take look at this. This is so cool. Like this is a bearded dragon set up right here. So you can see there's actually like bearded dragons just kind of run around. If they get up close, the kids can actually pet them and stuff like that. It's absolutely incredible. 
Same thing with this Leopard Gecko setup over here. It's absolutely amazing. Just take a look at this. This is awesome. I mean, you can literally get right up close to them. It's absolutely incredible. I love how much air they have. They have some hide spots. They have some stuff. And look at how big and happy these geckos are. I mean, it's just a really awesome setup. I love it. I mean, take a look at this little monkey right here. And then, of course, we have a Savannah monitor over here. Same type of setup. Again, completely open. People can touch them. So I like that. Really cool. I absolutely love this little reptile area. So I'm actually in one of the exhibits right now that's called Iguana Nirvana. And there's just some random iguanas kind of chilling out. You can come in here. Anyone can come in here, pet them, feed them, stuff like that. Look at this beautiful red right here. Wow, that thing is absolutely amazing. And it's so cool that these guys are just so docile that you can just kind of come up to them and pet them and stuff like that. A lot of times when it comes to green iguanas, iguana, iguana, you're not able to get up to them like you are with Bella or something like that. So I absolutely love this. I could envision one day, if I ever get a really big plate, having an exhibit like this for rhino iguanas where you can come up and actually pet them. He's just like Bella, closes his eyes, loves the pets and attention. And there's a handful of them all over the place. You can see we're way up here, all over the place. This is absolutely an awesome exhibit. Okay, we're in there with the parakeets now. Oh, there they are, look at Oh my god, Lori, what the, how freaking awesome is that? Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Are you freaking out? Lori has a little phobia of birds. <laughs> oh, he's doing okay? Oh, this is great. <laughs> uh, it's it's good. <laughs> it's another great experience though, I'll be honest with you. Unbelievable, how awesome is that? <laughs> that, was, that was surprising how quickly so many of them came. That was a lot of fun. It's a lot of birds. <laughs> Guys, I think I found my new favorite pet here at Sequest. Of course, this is Tiny the Burpees Python. What an amazing snake. And you know, again, I work with the big snakes like Lucy and Daisy that are even larger than this, but they're always so like on the move. This guy is just kind of dead weight. And I tell you what, he is a workout. But what a great animal. It makes me want to go home and just feed Sunrise to get her this size because I tell you what, although I like the fact that she's small enough that kids can handle it, a snake this size is just absolutely incredible. And of course, Tiny here is actually a rescue that Sequest brought in because, you know, hey, listen, a lot of times people buy these snakes and when they get a little size to them, they don't know what to do with them. So a place like Sequest is able to take them in. But man, Tiny, which is obviously not very tiny, almost 100 pounds, 26 years old, what an amazing animal. Again, it takes me back to that first snake that I ever had as a kid when I was 15 years ago. Of course, my Burmese python. Wow, what an amazing snake. So Storm and Norman here is a big sulcata tortoise that just kind of has the whole run of the place. And this guy is always on the go. Of course, that's why he's called Storm and Norman is because he never seems to stop. I tell you, for the last hour or so, I've been watching this guy and he is perpetual movement. He's about 90 pounds, you know, probably a good 26, 27 year old sulcata tortoise. But I tell you what, this is one of the problems with sulcata tortoises. They're so cute when they're babies, but they get so big. So a lot of times people buy them and they think they're cute pets and then they turn into a monster, huge stories like this. Storm and Norman is absolutely incredible, but I don't know if most people could handle an animal like this because if this guy was running around your house, he would definitely be rearranging your furniture. So they are so bizarre, but so absolutely incredible. Again, there's not a lot of places that I know that you can go and basically feed silky chickens. I mean, how awesome is that? Wow. It's hard to believe it's a bird. I know, it's crazy, right? I know. Are you sure it's not chinchilla? It does. <laughs> Lori, literally, we walked out first, she thought they were little chinchillas, but they were actually chickens. Unbelievable. Yeah. Super excited to be in with the otters here. You can see, look at, hey bud, what's going on? Come here, bud. Okay, you do mine. You do mine. Come here, bud. Come here. They're target trained just like we do with our animals. So here you go, buddy. There you go, bud. And this is actually Chip and Dale. You can see because of the target, they'll, do, they'll run around and do just about anything for food. There you go, buddy. 
Can you give me a high five? Yeah. High five? High five? <laughs> high five? All right. Here you go, bud. They are cheeky. Now, otters are really amazingly cute little animals, but they're also responsible for about the most bites out of any animal at zoos because they are very cheeky. Although they look super cute and playful, if you get your finger in there, they'll be happy to chomp on one for sure. Lori, right, what do you think? These guys are pretty cute. <laughs> These guys are the smallest of all 13 species of otter, as well as the least aquatic. So they are semi-aquatic, uh, but they're really good swimmers, believe it or not. Um, they spend most of their time on land though. Right. They really do kill you with cuteness, so there's no doubt about that. Here you go, bud. There you go. <laughs> That's awesome. He definitely deserves a treat for being so good. There you go, buddy. That's for being good, bud. Oh, look at how cute that one is. Remember the fact that I wanted to add a fish spa? You know, the fish that eat your little feet and stuff like that? Uh, they actually have them here at Sequest, and so we're gonna get our first shot at it. We're learning as much as we can if we decide to do it. I've learned a whole lot about it. Sometimes there's people that say that it's dangerous, but I've heard, learned a whole lot of things. But in regards, I'll get more into that. This is the first time we're gonna try it. You excited, Lori? <laughs> I, no, excited is not what I am right now. <laughs> Lori has a little bit of anxiety about this, but we're gonna have a great time and get this done. Let's do it. Let's go. Oh, oh yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Come on, Lori. <laughs> I can't. You can do it. Keep it going. You're right. <laughs> Actually, awesome! I think that mo if we do this, Lori's <laughs> crying. It's crying. This is not okay. <laughs> it's okay, Lori. You're gonna be okay. Lori's <laughs> literally crying. I don't like. This. I do take it out. If you don't like it, take it out. You don't have to. <laughs> okay, I need a break. <laughs> This is not a joke. Oh my gosh, Lori. I didn't think Lori was, it was it that bad. That is so freaky. Oh my gosh. Holy moly. I think it's awesome. Oh, feels so good, guys. I mean, this is... I think it's a go, guys. I guess I've got to check with the health department in Michigan. In certain states, you need certain permits to do something like this, like a cosmetology permit or something like that. Uh, but I think it's pretty amazing. Uh, I love it. I would be doing this every day. Absolutely incredible. So this is definitely one of the highlights of the trip for me, for sure. This is 28,000 gallons. We are getting in with a bunch of different species of rays, sharks, a bunch of cool fish. We get to swim around, check these guys out, and later on, we actually even get to feed them inside the tank. So what do you say? We just jump right in. an absolutely amazing time and you know it's not only amazing to swim with rays and sharks and all this stuff but to swim with a mermaid oh Hello. my god how long have you been a mermaid oh my god how long have you been a mermaid i've been doing it for about four years now oh my gosh and you have a social media i do i'm mermaid mezzy m-e-z-z-i-e -E. oh my gosh well i'll put a link in the description guys and uh we are about to feed some of these things now so uh, it's going to be absolutely epic And it's back here in the reptile area. I tell you what, Sea Quest is absolutely amazing. And they have like 10 locations right now, and they're gonna have like 10 more by next year. I'm gonna go ahead and put the links in the description to all their social media. So if you ever get a chance, definitely go pay them some love because it is an absolutely amazing place. It truly is like the Reptarium for Aquatics. So absolutely wonderful day. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite part of this day was. What adventure would you have liked to do? And have an amazing day because I love your beautiful faces. Be kind to someone and I promise I will see you tomorrow.